open pond in the morning on Sunday morning beautiful beautiful sunny morning slept well last night listening to the frogs all night it was good good sleeping music So yesterday I walked down to that pier and uh, I videoed a little bit of that, but the audio got a little squirrely. The, uh, I think my mic that I had, I had an external mic plugged in and I think the connection was loose or something. It was all staticky. So what I said yesterday was this was the one of the piers on Open Pond here at the recreational area. And I, the... Uh, there's campers up that way, and there's, uh, so they have uh, lots for RVs, tents, whichever you like. It's uh, $16 a night for the regular hookup sites. It's $8 a night for the primitive sites. I'm in one of the primitive sites <coughs> on loop A. Loop A and B are uh, primitive, and then loop C and D are hookups, electric and water. So... Uh, this is uh, in the Koneka National Forest, the Open Pond Recreational Area. It's an easy drive down the interstate from six, uh, from Montgomery. It's about 110 or 12 miles, roughly, from Montgomery. Easy drive interstate and four lane most of the way. So if you haven't uh, checked it out, Koneka National Forest in the southern part of the state, almost to the Florida line. But the southern southern part of Alabama, Kaneka National Forest. They've got also have a about a 25 or 30 mile loop backpack uh, hiking loop that you can uh, hike on to do some backpacking. I'm actually going to try to do some day hikes today. I'm going to try to hike some of that just to see what it looks like after breakfast. We'll see how it goes. So if you ever get down this way, open pond recreational area in the Kaneka right, National so I've only Forest. Been walking just a few minutes, really. And uh, it's a nice trail. It's uh, pretty much plenty of pines so far everywhere, but uh, definitely a nice trail. And I'm really just going out for a day hike, but since I didn't get to hike with you last night and camp on the trail, I decided to pack my pack back up uh, just like it was yesterday. Minus the food I ate last night and uh, for breakfast, but uh, I haven't had to, I haven't gotten a chance to use this pack a lot. It's the uh, ULA Circuit, I think it's Circuit, Circuit the Catalyst, I can't, maybe the Catalyst. Um, but I ain't got a chance to use it but once or twice, so I wanted to load it up for you know like a day or two trip. Uh, and just see how it rides. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hike for a few hours this morning. Probably stop and eat some lunch, and then probably hike back. So not gonna do a whole lot, but I wanted to see how this pack did. I probably got about 22 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 to 22 pounds in it. Uh, I went ahead and packed up that my Helinox chair, which is right at two pounds, a little over. I uh, want to see if I would carry that. I've got two and a half liters of water and maybe one meal as far as food goes. So don't have much as far as food, but I was going for a couple of days. I probably have another pound or so of food. So uh, so if I could, if it carries 21, 22 pounds, I think probably 25 would be just as comfortable. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so so far the trail has been super easy to follow. And you can see over there behind me, it uh, just crossed through 
I guess the end of the day use area, the back part of the day use area of the uh, recreational area. And over here behind me is another little pond. Uh, looks pretty nice. I haven't walked down there to it, but uh, you can see that looks like a pretty nice pond, I think, over there. Looks like there's a pier back over on one end, I saw. But uh, so far, the trail's been super easy to follow. Um, it's, it's well marked. It's got these little uh, reflective blazes on the trees here. All, you know, all along, they're easy to see. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of glad I stayed in, in the uh, campground last night. I've walked about a mile so far, and it's really just kind of skirted along the road where we came in. Oh, and uh, I started over at the campground area, and I walked a little, just a fuzz over a mile so far. And uh, it just kind of runs along the, the camp area. Uh, crosses the road a couple times and then through the back part of the day use area and uh, now it's down here at this little pond so I'm gonna walk down there to the little pond and take a look but then the trail keeps going that way but I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over here and take a look at this pond all right so this is Buck Pond in the Conecta National Forest. Got a nice little pier. Water appears to be up a little bit, but uh, this is Buck Pond that you're looking at over here. And fish here. Uh, Creole limits are 10 bass, 20 brim, and no limit on the catfish or crappie. So, in case you're curious you can come out here and fish. Well, that was a little bit of a letdown on the hike. Um, I hate to say it was a letdown. It was a nice little walk, uh, just under two miles. But really, all it was was just a loop around this pond and the other one up that way. And then it came back around through the other part of the campground and right back along here where I camped last night. So. I was looking forward to a little bit further uh, hike, but uh, I don't have a map, so I don't really know where the other sections are, but I may look before I head home and see if I can find them, but uh, I didn't I didn't see any uh, connectors or anything on that loop. It was looked like it was just a, just a loop, but there must have, may have been a connector somewhere. But anyway, I'm back where I camped, so I'm gonna sit down here and try one more of these packet gourmet deals here. This is a smoothie. It's a berry berry jumpstart fruit smoothie on any of my videos here that looks like I'm using two different cameras. I am. I'm still trying to decide if I want to use the GoPro. Just the GoPro on a, on when I go on trips uh, versus taking my point and shoot too. My little point shoot that I've had for a while. This little Panasonic Lumix has done real well. Picks up good audio. Some of the video you probably saw on this is from this camera. Most of it is from the GoPro. I'm also using this little mic from time to time on the GoPro. Uh, so this uh, Right now I'm using the built-in mic on the camera, but it's not in the regular waterproof, waterproof housing. It's in a it's in a, a waterproof housing that I modified so that I could plug in this mic as well as I drilled some holes over the uh, the audio, uh, the mics, the, where the mics are picked up on the camera. And so that helps a little bit. But um, this works good. It picks up really well. It, I, it seems to, if you don't secure, if I don't, when I plug this in the port on the side of the camera, if I don't secure this to the tripod or something, to keep it from moving it seems to the connection doesn't seem to be real solid so i'll get a little bit of static and and noise and then the mic just doesn't pick up anything so it works fine if you're sitting still if the camera's not moving around picks up real well and uh, i think it would probably work fine if i secured this a little better to the to the camera mount when i'm walking it has turned out to be an absolutely <coughs> gorgeous day not a cloud in the sky. It's warming up. 
you know so it's it's getting a little warm but in the shade it's really nice there's a light breeze so it's just a beautiful day but uh, I think I'm gonna pack my stuff up and head back to town you can see that the campgrounds kind of cleared out up this way and uh, give you a quick look at what I carried this is my ULA catalyst uh, extra large size uh, I have tried for several different packs over the years and uh, just never could find one that really fit me uh, I'm six foot four and uh, today I'm about 280 275 280 pounds and um, it's hard for me to find a pack that's very comfortable but this one is excellent rides well the straps fit well the hip belt fits well uh, I don't know if you've most of you have probably seen the ULA packs if you haven't looked at ULA hey I recommend them highly uh, they've got several different packs to choose from uh, I went with a catalyst it holds a little bit more than the than the ohm I think um, I've got my pack weight down pretty pretty respectable this one's at a little over 20 pounds right now and that's everything in there um, including my this chair helinox chair that's a couple pounds so uh it's a respectable base weight uh, and it carries well got real big hip pockets here on the side uh, you can thread thread a bandana or something behind it like i did here uh got my cook pot and fuel on that side water on this side that's a liter and a half smart water bottle the bigger one not the little bit smaller one normally i carry the smaller one but uh Got the big one in there today, and then I usually put a couple of water bottles here on the shoulder straps. But uh, great pack, rides well, very comfortable, highly recommended. So, all right, so we'll give you a quick recap of my overnight trip to the Open Pond Recreational Area in the Kaneka National Forest. Um, came down last night or yesterday afternoon. I uh, was planning on doing a hike and camp somewhere on the trail. There's uh, supposed to be some, there was, I, I thought there was going to be uh, an easy to find trail to hike on. Uh, didn't have a map, couldn't find a place that sold a map, so decided to stay at the campground. Uh, it was a good night, had a pretty nice little thunderstorm that rolled through, but once it passed through, everything else was nice and clear. Got up this morning, did a little walking, and, um, found out that the trail that was there at the campground only was it was just a loop like a two mile loop around the lake and then back to the campground so uh, glad I didn't didn't pick that trail to try to hike on last night so nice place uh, in the southern part of the state of Alabama beautiful campground so if you ever get a chance to come down this way um, I can definitely say the campground is really nice and I'll probably be back uh, at least to stay in the campground but uh, whether or not I, I can't speak for the trail the trail section idea was nice but there wasn't anywhere really to uh, camp along that trail so uh, can't say for sure what the uh, backpacking would be like but I uh, hope to find out I'm gonna get me a map do a little more reading and uh, probably be back to do some backpacking so I'm headed home now and enjoy the trip and looking forward to uh, getting back out again to do a little bit longer trip next time so hope you enjoyed it thanks for following see you later